Las Colinas Country Club. It's second round coverage of the North Texas LPGA Shootout presented by JTBC. I wondered uh, what that would say about the rest of the day. Well, the rest of the day went just fine because she shot 66. Uh, we'll give her a chance here real quick to attempt the birdie at 13. But after shooting 66, she talked about uh, the fact that this is a very tricky golf course, and it is. Some of the trickiness of the golf course is playing in the wind a lot. Uh, the wind was really bad early in the week. Yesterday was pretty good, and today is absolutely beautiful. But she thinks the key to scoring here is to play the to left. It slopes severely to the right, and it's firm. Other than that, it's no problem. The line off the tee is somewhere on the about the left trees, is it not? And otherwise, you'll end up over here. The left edge of the fairway with a big, high, soft shot is really the only way to get it in the fairway. And then you might be blocked out by a tree at the corner anyway. Now, Suzanne's in a pretty good spot of bother here. She's got a line to just left of the hole, so she has to keep it low from 168 and also fade it a little bit to get it in line with the green. Which is exactly what she's done. Pretty good weight on as well. Yeah. Well done. A mile of a putt, but good shot. A bit of imagination needed. For Suzanne Pedersen, who has uh, struggled with back problems this year. Thankfully back playing, although she says she's... This is a moment ago, Suzanne Pedersen for a birdie at 14. The long range at that really doesn't do much from here. Just a little movement to the left. Good speed from Suzanne Pedersen. And we'll go back over. Now, in the fairway at 15, Suzanne Pedersen looking at her second shot. She's got the same yardage as the par three two holes ago, 127 yards, virtually the same direction here. Also going with nine iron, a little bit of a downhill line, so this might come in a little lower than normal. Good aggressive drive off that tee. That's a little bit of a downslope to the water up there, so you have to be careful. Yeah, it's not quite as firm and bare as it was last year, so you still have a chance of stopping it. That was nicely struck, just left of the hole. Yeah, pretty well done. She also has it underneath the hole, so that should help back off just a little bit when you know it's going to bang into the tree trunk. Now Pedersen for her birdie at 15. Up the hill, bending right at the end. She was probably a little disappointed with that number. This past December. Suzanne Pedersen here at 16. That's obviously what's confusing them there. Trying to give you a little peek into what they're saying. are adjusted yardages for playing uphill. The actual to the hole is 168. She was between four and five. She's going with the four. A little bit of an uphill line. It's also into the breeze. It looked like the breeze was blowing up there on the green. Can you feel it back down the fairway, Jerry? Yeah, you certainly can. Starting to freshen a little bit. 
driver off the tee, Jerry? You know, I wasn't back on the tee, but I'm assuming not based on the fact she's 25 yards behind Kerr. Yeah, this is a long shot in at 16. One to number 17. To 16. Suzanne Pedersen for a birdie. It's a pretty good line. She hit it. Oh, goodness. I didn't see it dropping that much right at the end, but a good putt still, though. Three plus feet remaining. Let's go over to number seven. But of course, top 70 in ties make the 36 hole cut, and we'll have another cut after the third round, top 50 in ties. Suzanne Pedersen now for a par. Suzanne was playing some good golf with a couple of top 10 finishes um, before the back troubles. Now live, we're with Suzanne Pedersen. This also seven iron curve. Yeah, that left bunker basically is there to protect you from running down in the water off the left side of the green. Thankfully, it's there for that left hole location we might see on the weekend. Much different hole today. It was fours and fives yesterday off the tee into a stronger breeze. This is well left. Yeah, this hole's playing much easier today, Jerry. It's actually playing under par scoring average wise today. The wind has started to pick up though. And that's making a difference. Not seeing nearly as many tee shots. 18 and a round of 70. Now Suzanne Pedersen at 17. Another long range one here. Flat speed wise, but certainly turning right. Very nice speed there. Had some back issues, had to take some time off. And scratch and scratch, <laughs> and it is so hard to find it. Looking back down the 18th hole, Suzanne Pedersen in the middle of the fairway, alongside, looks like Christy Kersball. Yes, indeed, a uh, very similar layup she was forced with, even more difficult, did well to get it to here. 109 remaining. Pretty severe side slope here, ball well below her feet. Shouldn't really affect a wedge much, but it's a little awkward, really easy to pull this shot for a lot of players. Highly trained professionals like Suzanne, not so much, but for average players, indeed. She's actually quite good at the shot that just falls to the right. That's exactly what this is doing. Lovely shot from Suzanne Pedersen, a good chance to finish with a birdie. Back over to the other closing hole today, number nine. Okay, not nearly as much wind. Suzanne Pedersen now for a birdie at 18. Turning a little left, this for an even par second round. Still getting the ball of the hole a little gingerly um, after the bad back incident in the last month. Yeah, she took uh, three tournaments off. Has been uh, undergoing quite a bit of treatment. Has been uh, doing a lot of acupuncture. 